everyone. Welcome back to the studio here. And uh, before I go any further and introduce the next task to you, I just want to extend a huge thank you and congratulations for the amazing work that took place in the first part of this In Lockdown Art Challenge. Um, staff and students alike came together and produced some wonderful, wonderful reenactments of famous pieces of artwork. Um, it's going to be difficult to squeeze them all in. Uh, and here are just a few of our very favourite ones from the staff. Weren't those just fantastic? Thank you so much to all of you that got involved once again. Now, this next task is one that is around the theme of daily gratitude. And quite simply, that is about looking around us and taking pleasure or gratitude from the uh, the things that we have in this moment. Now, I know that lockdown will have been uh, a tough time for us all. Uh, there are sacrifices, I think, that everybody is having to make on some level. Um, and there are good times and there are bad times. But... Uh, it is possible for us to to look and to see some of the the things around us that we hold dear at the moment. Now it might be uh, an object, it could be a person, it could be a group of people, or it could indeed be a place um, that is precious to you. And I want you to celebrate that by making a representation of it. Now it could be a figurative representation when you, uh, which is when you uh, record something accurately and try and make it as detailed and as as lifelike and as realistic as possible. Um, or it might be that you do an abstract version where perhaps you use shapes and gestures and uh, textures uh, to recreate something that is uh, that's important to you, something that encompasses the essence of that thing without looking like it, perhaps. Now. This is a piece of work that I did as my uh, drawing and I'm going to explain to you why I've done it and, uh, and what it's all about. And hopefully that will give you some encouragement, some ideas uh, to do your own as well. OK, so here we are. This is my sketchbook. And as you can see, this is a drawing that I did earlier of a bird. Now, it might seem a little bit strange that I've chosen this to be my drawing for this exercise, but bear with me. Um, now, I've actually drawn this because it reminds me a little bit of my dad. Um, he lives a little way away. And so what with lockdown and everything, I can't just pop around and see him at the minute. But uh, uh, just outside the window here in my studio, I've got a small bird feeder. And um, my dad has always taken a huge amount, just a great amount of pleasure from watching the birds in his garden. Um, he goes to extraordinary lengths to get the right seeds and so on to attract the most amazing array of birds into his garden. And growing up uh, with that, I suppose it's perhaps no surprise that a little bit of it has rubbed off on me. Now, I'm a total novice by comparison, but nonetheless, uh, when this little chap arrived in my garden earlier, it just made me think of Dad, and so I picked up the phone and gave him a call. And, uh, and I'm really grateful for that. So, uh, uh, so yeah, that's my drawing. Hi, it's Miss Gearing here with my daily gratitude. Um, I did my drawing and I photographed it and put it into Photoshop so I could turn it into a little bit of an animation here. Um, so I'm really grateful for my milkman. He's an amazing guy called Neil. Uh, he gets up super early in the morning um, and he delivers all sorts of stuff to our doorstep while we are still asleep. Um, so thank you, Neil. This is my response to the latest Southborough High School Art Challenge. It shows a view of Nonsuch Park, which is a place that I'm really grateful for. Um, I spend 
um, some time walking there and thinking, um, sometimes with my family, sometimes alone. Um, this was taken from a photo on one of my walks. I really loved the light in the, the woods at the time. Um, I've really tried hard to capture the effect of the light. Um, the drawing's made of charcoal. Um, I spent a couple of hours doing it. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the challenge as much as me. Good luck, guys. Okay, so that's it. Um, good luck with this next task. Enjoy, get get involved, get creative, and uh, and have fun. Bye for now.